The last time I checked out a Deep Purple song was many months ago now, it was the track Child in Time, which was a brilliant song, it was a progressive rock song with many segments in it and a sort of anti-war theme over the top of it, but it's been a minute since I checked out any of their music and actually a commenter reminded me I should check out this song, which has supposedly one of the most famous guitar riffs of all time, so I'll see if I can recognise it. But one thing I like about this band is that they kind of blend genres, they got this classical music influence in their alongside the heavy metal stuff they're supposedly one of the cornerstones of heavy metal alongside black sabbath so let's check out this song here hope you guys enjoy this is smoke on the water by deep purple definitely heard that before Come in. There comes in. Bass line comes in. I like it. Building it all up. Okay, so I think that is a very simple but effective riff, right? I think that's the sort of brilliance in music sometimes to make something simplistic but still be effective and brilliant. I think it builds a lot of atmosphere. I like the way that they built in all of the instruments around the riff. I guess they realize how good that riff is. But I think also there's some great things going on in the organs. I think maybe the power of the riff takes away from the great work on the organs. Now, I will also say that that is a very recognizable riff. I've seen a comment beforehand. I was thinking, is that actually going to be true? Where it said, uh, all beginner guitarists rise to our national anthem. I guess this is a thing that's played quite often by beginners. I guess they're describing a real life scenario, right? I think that's what I read, that this is actually a tale about a real thing that was happening when they went with a, they were doing a concert with a, with Frank Zappa, who, who's a guest, another big rock star. Actually, a couple of you guys have requested me to listen to his music and some idiot, as they put it, some, but some stupid with a flare gun burnt the place to the ground. Interesting, uh, inspiration for the song i don't know how they turned an incident like that into music in the way that they did but it's it's brilliant that's such a powerful riff
like that. Great way to fade out of the guitar solo back into, I guess, the verses. I like how they faded it out with the riff coming back in. I guess as I'm learning about rock music, uh, I learn about scales and the scale in which this song is in is apparently the blues scale. I always find myself drawn to this style of music, the stuff that is inspired by blues stuff. It has a certain sound to it and tone that I really love. Even I think the organs are, I guess, based around the same scale, right? For the music to all fit together. Regardless, I think one thing this band does is they pull from other genres. For example, the chorus sounds quite different to the verses in the sense that it's more melodic it's more singy it's got like harmonies that come in i really like that aspect of it This simple part of the song is so effective. Drums, bass line, guitar riff. Just play this forever. One connection that I never thought I would make, I guess, before I got into this channel and I started listening to all this different kind of music is how heavy metal bands, especially in the early phases, bands like Black Sabbath, how musically rich they are. Um, that's one thing that's super impressive. Like these guys take a lot of influences as I was learning about from classical music. And I wouldn't have put those two things together, like heavy metal music or hard rock music with classical music. Even a band like Led Zeppelin, who can do a song that's thunderous, can play super like um, acoustic numbers, folksy numbers. Um, it's been a really cool experience seeing that. Now in general, great track, man. Um, Again, how they took this real life event and made it into a track is really cool to me. It's essentially uh, the verses are about what happened that day. We ended up at the Grand Hotel. It was empty, cold and bare, but with a rolling truck stones thing just outside. So they're describing the scene that essentially happened. So I guess this place burnt down to the ground because some, some dude lit off a flare, which is nuts. But the fact that they got this great song out of it is brilliant. Now it's quite different to the other song that I heard of theirs, Child in Time had a theme to it in terms of like a concept record. It was like a guy kind of warning against war is what I took away from it. So it's more simple in that sense, but musically it was super powerful. And as I was saying at the end with the instrumental outro, you'll just need that for the song. It's so good. The riff, the bass line and that, um, that very simple hi-hat snare drum thing that was going on. Just brilliant, man. Really, really great. Simple, but effective. Two thumbs up, man. Great track. <laughs> 